All right, what's good, everybody? I want to do a little bit something different today. Um, I got a lot of friends who've been asking me about, you know, how to tie a tie and um, about wearing a suit or whatever. So that's why I'm wearing a suit in this video. Just to give you guys, uh, you know, my fellas out there, I realize some of my friends, while I have a lot of friends who might go to church all the time or who might always be in business meetings or what have you, some of my friends, especially some of my younger friends um, who may not have grown up in church or who may not have, um, you know, who may not have gone on that many interviews or want some advice about, you know, what to wear on an interview and all that kind of stuff. Um, I just wanted to do this for them because a lot of them have been asking me questions. And um, so I just wanted to give a basic, this is very basic because there's plenty of ideas out there about what you can do as far as suit wearing. But I just want to give um, some basic things that seem to be going on that most people are doing when they wear their suits today. So first of all, and I want to make this short, so I'm going to speak a little bit fast. So hopefully you guys can keep up. All right, so first thing, get as many of these white shirts as you can, all right? White shirts that fit well, that when you put them on, you don't got a whole lot of extra space going on inside of your shirt, okay? That's rule number one, because you can't go wrong with a white shirt, okay? Get other colors also, but you can't go wrong, especially when you go on an interview, make sure that that shirt is white. It just has more of a business professional kind of look, right? Now, even this, right, this might color this red, and this black, this design, red, uh, you know, pocket square might be good if you're going to a banquet or what have you. But I wouldn't necessarily wear this color on an interview. So, matter of fact, watch. I would probably wear something like a, um, like a solid blue, like, you know, like, like a Barack Obama kind of feel. Or Gazmir, my boy Gazmir, he got, he got a good solid blue tie that I want to steal from him. You know, or if you do want to wear something fancy, but but you know maybe not as loud, I'll maybe go with something that's got that has some standard colors like a black and a gray or something like that, right? Um, so okay, so so white shirt, okay, and then your colors matter. So um, what you want to do is make sure that the suit that you get also is fitted to your size. So now I'm a slim dude. So this this is called a, a slim fit. Okay. Now with the slim fit, I could get the same suit that's not slim fit that's made for my size. But what it's going to do is going to be a lot baggier and stuff like that in the arms. So you want to make sure that you always get your suit um, tailored to your size. Even if you buy a, a, a general population suit, you could buy a general population suit and then get it tailored if you don't want to spend a whole lot of bread on, you know, like a, a, a major expensive kind of suit, okay? But just make sure that you get the suit and get it tailored to your size so that it looks nice and neat when you're wearing it, okay? Um, when you're wearing the suit, really you only go and button the first button half of the time, okay? That's just basic principles. You could do other things. I'm just giving you the basics right now so that this video isn't as long as ever. Now, you see this thing right here, right? You see the, uh, the sometimes we wonder, like, what's that for? What that's for? If you see a lot of the, uh, a lot of people on TV and everything now, a lot of the fellas, what they're doing is they're wearing, like, a, a lapel flower, it's called there. You can go online and look it up and wear, or they're wearing, like, a pin. So some people might wear, like, the American flag here or... You know, some people might be part of an organization and they might have pins that they'll wear right here, okay? Just another way to add to the look. Now, um, one thing that you want to look into, pocket square, right? Now, I'm going to just give you a basic thing as to how you can do the pocket square. The way that you saw me having it, basically I just keep my hand like this. I put the pocket square through, pull it up like that. I don't even really care what it's looking like at the top. Fold it up at the bottom, Okay. And then I just put it in. All right. Basic, like it's not difficult at all. Now you could do the other way where you can make it a square so that it's only showing a little bit. And it's, it's, it looks like, you know, it's parallel to the pocket. Um, you can make it into a triangle, all that kind of stuff. Up to you, right? Look on YouTube. You can find ways to do it. Um, last thing that I want to show you guys. Oh, now the arms of your suits, right? If you can get it so that a little bit, my, first of all, the length of my shirt that I'm wearing today, I chose a shirt. I probably should have chosen a longer shirt. but So I would want my the length of my shirt to be a little bit longer so that it's naturally coming outside of the sleeve of the jacket so that, um, so that you can see it and then it matches up with the rest of your outfit, okay? So just keep that in mind for future reference. This is a little bit too short. If I'm doing this, you want it to be shown just a little bit more, right? And it's cool where the jacket, I'm fine with where the jacket's sitting right now. 
Now, I just want to show you how to tie the tie or how I like to tie my ties. Oh, matter of fact, there's another thing that I want to show you also. Okay. So, I like to tie my ties like this. Hopefully, you can keep up and you can always just pause this video and keep it and slow it down if you need to. Okay, so, see I'm here. I got one side longer, one side shorter. Fold it over like that. Then I'm putting it under. Okay. So now, it's under. You see where it is, right? Now what I like to do is I come behind, still using the big part. And some people, when they come around, they'll wrap it over immediately like this, right? What I like to do in order to give the knot a, a, a bigger look is I'll wrap it inside one time and bring it back to this same side, okay? And then I'll go over this way and then bring it under. And I might do another video where I just do the, um, the tie part just so that you can get it. And bring it under. First I bring it underneath and then bring it over and in through the loop, okay? Then I hold right here and try to, um, you know, square it out, pull up on here. Okay, this is actually a little bit longer than I like to wear my ties, the way I just tied it just now. But you can adjust, you know, the length of it. I probably should have uh, made the shorter side a little bit longer so that that way the ties sit. I like my ties to sit like right above my belt. Some people like it longer, some people like it shorter. Up to you how you want to do it, okay? And then you just pull up here in the back. Flip your collar down. And you're good to go. All right. Now, um, uh, oh, I wanted to tell you guys about these because sometimes people have a problem with their collars staying down. So now you have what it calls the collar stays. And some of your shirts might come with the plastic ones of these. I would say if you could go out and find some sort of metal type, um, those are going to be better. And then you slip them in, keeps them you know, down. And then when you're done with them, you can put them in a box somewhere or something like that until you wear your shirt again. So that that way when you wash your shirt, you're not messing it up or anything like that. Okay? Um, so, yeah. So, that's more so professional style. Like, I show you, like, one of my favorite combinations might be, like, a color like this with a pocket square like this. You know? Um, if, you wanna, if you're going to, like, a banquet or something like that or on a date or something like that, what have you. Okay? Um, so, I hope this is helpful. If you want me to slow down, because I know I threw a lot at you right there, but if you want me to slow down or just do a video based on one of those concepts or even another concept, hit me up. Um, but there's also a lot of people on YouTube who you can search, and they got way more than what I just gave you. So do whatever you want to do. Hopefully this helps you. Peace.